Okay, so this is an update. This is where we're at today. It's been a little over two years since I got, you know, smacked in the face and cut open here. My cut went from pretty much to my eye, the corner of my eye, all the way down to my nose. This is vanished, and so, I mean, this is all that's left. It's totally flat, so nothing is raised, and the discoloration has pretty much faded because it was like a bit of like a dark red, and then it went to a pink for the last, um, I don't know, year. And now it's pretty much even with my skin tone. All that's left, if you really, you know, get up close like you are right here, is if I smile really hard and I have to be like squinting. You see? These itty bitty little lines that go across. It could also be that I'm super dehydrated, I'm tired, I just woke up. I have a newborn, or I guess six months old. I have an infant, and so he keeps me up all hours of the night. Um, but I would say that I'm very happy that this is completely healed. It's been two years, and we're here. Hi, hello, good morning. It's Jeanette here today, and as you can see, it has been two years since the accident that cut my face open, and I hope you enjoyed that little update. I had no makeup on this morning, so that was that. I did want to do it because it's my first video in who knows how long. I just wanted to start this video off by saying that thank you so so much for the feedback all of your positive comments and your stories that you left on my first video it was really encouraging to see that you know a lot of you did point out that thank god that it didn't hit my eye and you are so correct god is so good because in the last two years since i made that video you know a lot has changed i started a new job i got married i did a little bit of traveling we bought a house and then I had a baby. So, you know, time has just flown by. Whenever I was first researching, how long does it take scars to heal? And I read that the average is two years. I thought, oh my God, that's gonna be forever. But that time has just flown by and you know, so many doors have opened in that time. So keep your head up. I know that scars can be so, you know, scarring, you know, emotionally because it's so visible. But try to focus on the things that you can control, keeping a positive outlook every single day. If you're a lady, you know, makeup really does help. But I just wanted to come on here and update you all because I've gotten such great feedback on that first video. So thank you. I also wanted to answer some of the most asked questions that I got in the last video. So the very, like, the top question I get asked all of the time is, does this work on old scars? Okay, so according to ScarGuard's website, yes, this should help shrink old scars. Uh, my experience is that I use it on a new scar, so I can't really speak to it, but based on what I read, it looks like whenever, you know, you cut yourself, collagen comes to the rescue to help repair the torn skin, and whenever too much collagen is produced, that's what makes the skin look a little bit raised. And so that's what ScarGuard targets, is that raised collagen it helps to flatten the skin and so it should help shrink old scars i didn't get to try it on something old but but it should be able to help with that the difference is um i think some other people were wondering does this work on acne scars so no because if your skin is pitted or you have like a crater it's not going to help like fill it in so unfortunately it does not work on acne scars and i know because i have some um the next question I got was, maybe I wasn't very clear, but how exactly did I use this product? So I used it day and night. I had it on my face 24 seven for the first three months, right after my scar had healed and the little um, scabs had fallen off naturally. That's when I started applying it. It does sting a little bit, so you do wanna wait for um, the scar to heal, the scabbing to fall off, and then you can start using it. So I wanted to show you exactly how I used it. So this was my morning routine, starting with a gentle foaming cleanser to remove any dirt from the night before. Then I like to air dry so my face stays extra clean. And now this is the most important part before using anything else, is protecting your skin with a moisturizer with SPF to protect from the sun, which can darken your scar. I really like this one from CeraVe and have been using it for the last year. 
So once that sets in for a minute or two, then I would brush on the Scar Guard liquid gel. So you brush that on gently and leave it alone to let it air dry. So this is how it looks when it's dry and then you are set, ready to start the day. So I hope that helped give you a visual of uh, my morning routine. Night routine was very much the same. I would just wash my face and reapply it. Go to sleep, start over again. Okay, and then lastly, um, I keep getting asked where to purchase this. So I did link the website in the description box so you can find it there. I also, whenever I did a quick Google search, it looks like you can also buy it on Amazon and um, Walgreens.com. So that's for here in the US. Um, I think someone did point out that it wasn't available out in Eastern Europe. So unfortunately, I don't know how to get around that, but I do know that an alternative, since this is liquid silicone, you can always use silicone sheets as well. I've never used them, so I don't know how to apply them, but it's basically the same concept where, you know, it's, it's silicone on your face 24 seven. I think that that is it. If there are any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to answer. And again, just thank you so much for all of the support. I'm so excited to be filming again. This year has been insane and I'm actually working from home now. So I do, you know, want to get the ball rolling again. I'm so excited to be creating content again. And um, if there are any questions you guys have, anything you want to see, I don't know, let me know. We can bounce ideas off of each other. I'm just going to be posting things that you know, I find inspiration in. And so that was just a quick rant to say I'm back and thank you so much for all of the support and the feedback. So I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.